Would you raise your hand feel okay with this so far? That rope? Yes, no. Okay, good. Very good. Can we do the same thing if we have variables? Do you need this anymore? No. It should be tattooed on your brain at this point, right? <laughs> Some of you learning math feels like getting a tattoo on the brain, doesn't it? Have you, have you ever had a tattoo before? They kind of hurt, so that's what the analogy was, was for. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh my, square root, square root, not a cube anymore, square root of 81y to the fifth. Square root of 81y to the fifth. Now, we're going to be looking for perfect what roots? Square. Perfect squares, perfect square numbers. 81, we got that. Square root of 81 is what? <laughs> now, the square root of y to the fifth, now that's the problem. You see, in the previous sections that we did, specifically 10.1, I told you that sometimes we're able to simplify powers of variables by taking that number to a certain power and crossing out that power. Remember that? Mm -hmm. But then I said, this isn't always going to work. Because is there any way that we can make y to the fifth as something to the second power? No. Not unless you want to do two and a half, and that really would not be good for us. Okay, we can't, we can't do that. So, no, there's really, there's really not. So we had to have a different method. And what I said, there's another way that you could do this is to split up y to the fifth as as many y squareds as you could. Here's the point. What we're trying to look for is, I'm sorry, perfect what's here? Squares. Squares. So powers of two. Here's the point. If I have x to the fifth, like I have y to the fifth here, I can write this a lot of different ways. I could choose to write this as, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Or this one. That's true, right? Or I could do that one. That's true. Or I could do this. Is that still x to the fifth? Yeah. Now what we're trying to do is write this with as many power twos as we can. Would you agree that this way is giving us as many power twos as I can? Yeah. Here on Vinny, here I have one. That's, that's great, great. But this one, mm, that's not so good. This one doesn't give us any power twos. That's not good at all. This is the most power twos I can find. Now, why I'm looking for power twos, and I showed you this earlier as just a review at this point, is whenever we have a power two, matching with a square root, or whenever the power matches the root, I can take out one of those x's outside of my radical. It simplifies. A square root and a square root do each other. So since I have a square root, I'm looking for x to the power 2 in this case. <clears throat> I, think you'll, I hope you remember that we've done this already at least a couple times. I'll keep this square root of 81 because I don't need to break that number up anymore such as 18 or 98. That's already a perfect square, so I don't need to split that up. If you take the square root of it, leave it alone. But if y to the fifth, instead of leaving it y to the fifth, I'm going to write this as y squared times y squared times y. As many y squared as I can, but I still need y to the fifth. So I can't just leave it y squared times y squared because that's y to the fourth, I need y to the fifth. Raise your hand if you're okay on this so far. Good, all right, that's, that's good. Now let's see what happens here. Can you tell me what's the square root of 81? Nine. So I'm going to cross that out and put a 9 because I just took the square root of it. That means I pull it outside of my radical. Are you following me here? Can you tell me what's the square root of y squared? Remember what we could do, why this whole pr process works. I'll show this to you here. Because of our product property, you could do the square root of 81 times the square root of y squared times the square root of y squared, times the square root of y. Do you see that that's the same thing we're doing right here? Yep. Not if you're with me. You have to kind of get this, this part. Are you, are you okay that what I just did is what we did here, what we did here, what we did there? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. I can split that up by the product rule because any nth root, I can do that. So square root of 81, square root of y squared, square root of y squared, square root of y. Why am I choosing the y squared here instead of like y to the third or y to the fourth? Well, it's because I can take a square root with a square and cross it out and simplify it. 
Now we can say, okay, what's the square root of 81? Oh, that's, that's 9. What's the square root of y squared, folks? Y. Good. Because we know those simplified. What's the square root of y squared? Y. What's the square root of y? Stays square root. Can I do it? Can I simplify it at all? No. I'll give you a little, actually, a big hint. If the power is bigger than or equal to the root, you can simplify it. If the power is less than the root, you can't. Why? You can't break it down anymore. That's right. If the power is less than the root, that's power 1. I can't write that as a power 2 times something, right? If it's equal to it, I can simplify it. If it's greater than it, I can write it as a product of those powers put together. Does that make sense? So if it's bigger than the root, simplify it. Or equal to the root, simplify it. If it's less than, you're done. You can't simplify that. So in our case here, we cannot simplify the square root of y. I'm just going to leave that square root of y. Now, can I write this any simpler than this? 9y squared. Sure, yeah, let's put those y's together. Really don't need these because if I write it like this, it's implied that it, we do have multiplication. That's as good as I can make it. That's completely simplified. You okay? Yep. Yes. Can you get directly from here to here without showing this step? Sure, you can do that. Or actually here to here, here to here. Point right correctly. This one to this one. Sure, you could. You could do nine. This gives you a y outside of your radical. This gives you a y outside of your radical. But this one, you wouldn't be able to cross that out, would you? Doesn't match. Stays inside your radical. That's the way you do this. Let's try a few more here. <coughs> See, we're having fun now, right? Don't we love? I, I loved crossing things out when I was your age. <laughs> Although maybe I'm not some of your age yet. I'm like older than you. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I taught high school, I was always the oldest one in the room. It sucked. I felt very, they all thought I was 50. Oh. Yeah, they did. I'm not even, I was 24 at the time when I started teaching high school. They're like, you're old, huh? I got brothers, like, old, as old as you. And so the ones who had, had brothers or sisters of my age were like, okay, yeah, I know how old he is. But some were like, what are you, like, 40? Forty. <laughs> They, they failed. They failed. <laughs> and that's why you started teaching college. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Okay, cube root 24, A to the ninth, B to the fourth. What we need to do is write this as perfect whatever type of numbers we need to simplify this. So what type of root do we have? We're looking for perfect cube numbers then. The thing we deal with is the number itself and take some time to actually write this out. Okay, don't do all of this in your head. I don't want you making mistakes right now. Write this out because we're just learning it. Okay, don't take shortcuts now. So since we have a cube root, we're looking for perfect cube numbers. I want you to all think of a number, perfect cube, look at the 24, that divides 24. What is it? What is it? A per it's got to be a perfect cube. It's got to be a perfect cube. A number that you can think of that says, I can take a cube root of that number. So while we can do 12 and 2, can you take the cube root of 12? No. Cube root of 2? No. So don't pick those numbers. Pick different numbers. What number can you take the cube root of that divides 24? 8. So pick 8. 8 times 3, actually, gives you 24. Why did I pick 8? I picked the cube root 8. That's why I picked 8. The one to do 6 and 4 can't take the, the cube root of those numbers. Are you starting to see what number, why I'm picking the numbers I'm picking? Mm -hmm. I'm so. Now, a to the ninth, we now work on our variables. a to the ninth, we're going to write this as as many powers of a to the, what power? Are we looking for squares? Should I write a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared? Should I do that? No. Y cubes. Yeah, sure, cube roots, okay. So I want, tell, tell me how many I need. A to the, times what? Times, anything else? Is this still A to the ninth? 
Why would we pick the third powers again? It's because everywhere we have A to the third power, we're going to be able to cross it out, take an A outside of a radical. How about B to the fourth? B to the fourth. What do I want to write that as? I, you have choices, right? You can do uh, B squared times B squared. Is that a good choice for no. you here? No, we want what? B to the times. Cool. Now, everywhere we match the power with the root, we cross it out. Everywhere that we don't, that stays inside of a radical. Here's the reason why, again, I'll show you this step one more time. This gets annoying, though. So we're, we're going to, ultimately, we're going to skip this step, because this, this kind of sucks. Uh, I don't want to have to write this every single time, because you'd write a cube root of 8 times a cube root of 3 times a cube root of a cubed times a cube root of a cubed. I got my threes. Cube root of a cubed times a cube root of b to the third times the cube root of b. It works because you can do this. Because you can split that up. Do you see where these numbers are coming from, first of all? I'm just splitting this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven, I got it. So we're just splitting that up. But everywhere you see, you can simplify this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, but not these two. Do you guys see what I'm talking about here? So while we could do a two here, you can't do anything with this one. While you can do an A here, and an A here, and an A here, that looks like a 9, and a B here, you can't do anything with this one. Nod your head if you're okay on that step. This row, you guys alright with that? No, you got the 2 again. Three. Cube root of 8 is 2. <coughs> So now you'd have to simplify all this stuff. Put the roots back under one root. Put your variables that are being multiplied together as powers. So we'll have a 2. We'll have an a to the third. We'll have a b. Can you tell me what goes inside of my cube root? Got the 3 still, got the b still. That's as good as we can make it. You can't simplify 3. Please don't do this. Please don't go, oh, cube root of 3, that's a 1. Okay, we don't do that. Right, the only numbers you can take a cube root of are 1, 8, 27, and uh, 64, and then 125. That's it. That's it. How many people feel okay getting from, I'm going to have you raise your hand here, getting from here to here, raise your hand. Okay, that's probably the most important step, from here to here, actually knowing what to split up. How many people feel okay getting from here to here, and then from here to here, that's an important one as well. You feel alright with this? Okay, good. That's fantastic. Let's try one more together. I'll give you a couple to do on your own. Then we'll talk about the last thing: how to do do this with some uh, some quotients. Not any harder. In, in fact, it, sometimes it makes things a little easier. You just have to be very careful and do exactly what I tell you when we get there. Okay? So I'm pre warning you: you got to do this exactly like I show you. Otherwise, you're you're going to make mistakes on your test. I guarantee it. And I want to set you up for success. It is cool. <laughs> okay, there we go. Four through thirty-two, x to seven. And I just said four through. So, really shouldn't be looking for square roots. Shouldn't be looking for perfect, I'm sorry, perfect squares. Shouldn't be looking for perfect cubes. Should be looking for perfect fourth powers. Perfect fourth powers.